But uh, speaking of politicians, uh, how about slave ownerships? I, I, I think uh, we had this slavery conversation offline, and uh, apparently yeah. all of us dog owners are now slave owners. Yeah, according to a certain group <laughs> that white people that own dogs own dogs because they want to be masters. Right. They're missing yeah, slavery. They're missing, that's what it is. Yeah. They're missing out they're on slavery. Missing slavery. They have to fill this gap, so that's why we get dogs. Right. See, I got a dog because I love it. I, I like having a dog. Yeah. I love my dog. It had nothing to do with us. Where, where did I mean... Number one, it's, there's not a person alive now who ever owned a slave. Uh-uh. No, no. They're all dead. Well, not in America anyway. Okay, if you, yeah, if you, if you yeah. get over... You get overseas, yeah, yeah, but we don't want to talk about that because the people will get offended. Well, because well, it's, it's, I don't know, I, guys. Now, I, I will say that there's a lot of sex slavery going on right now with illegal immigrants. Well, there you go. A lot of people are bring, being brought in from other countries that are being held captive as sex slaves to pay off their entry yeah. into the U.S. Servitude. Through, through, yeah. yeah, they're paying servitude to uh, gangs and, and sure. coyotes and all these other so I, I ask you know, Clinton he can tell you all about that oh, him and his buddy Epstein <laughs> yeah. Yeah. what on Fantasy Island that they had yeah. that whole episode on yeah well and, and, and so that again I think they call that liberating <laughs> yeah I think you're right for weekend it's weekend at Bernie's yeah you know I don't know, guys. I mean, it's it's hard to it's hard to put into words sometimes how ridiculous this bullshit. But is. yeah, they they're they're comparing us all with slave owners. Yeah. So if you own a dog, think about that. If you own a dog, it's comparable to owning a slave. It's a surrogate for owning a slave. What I think is funny is okay. So the whole thing about slavery, mm-hmm. how it became sort of okay, how it grew into this dog thing mm-hmm. was a couple of weeks ago it you started having these politicians that are stumping right now uh-huh. for the for uh, oh, the president Cummins bullshit everybody yeah. started deep diving their their family history right yeah. to come up and say you know what they want to apologize for their family because they've learned some and some of their history and kind of sort of surmise. You think this all started with Joe Biden when when when? Well, okay, you know, actually, call, Kamala Harris calling out Joe Biden. You think that's but, how this kind of got all started up? Yeah, because he didn't respond in a way that they wanted him to respond, or which is to me is fucking crazy. Is how people respond is how they respond, right? You know, the fact that you know in your head you saw his apology going a different way. Yeah. Well, that means that. In the, in the multiverse, if you were fucking <laughs> Joe Biden, this is how you'd have fucking responded. But since Joe Biden is Joe Biden, he responded the way he fucking did. Exactly. So shut your fucking mouth. It's eliminate the old white guy. That's all it is. Well, it's it's, it's been us. it's been entertaining watching the beast they created consume them. You know that's been the best part of the the squad, as we'll call them. I hate mm. calling them that, but the squad. And and Nancy Pelosi, Joe Biden created this group. Sure. I mean, that's yeah. it, they are they are the they are the Franken Doctor Frankenstein of this, and the monster is the squad, and it has turned on them, and it is now feasting upon them. That's the it's best part of this. To. It's trying yeah. to. Uh, I, I think we've seen that. Dude, it's an element of ISIS living in the country, sneaking through the halls of government. <laughs> I don't care. You you call me at the house and call me out on it. That's what she is. Yeah. Okay, and the 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 president of the United States, uh, misguided or not, got up and made some comments about if you don't like what we're doing here, yeah. Leave. Well, you should go back. You should go back and do it in the country of origin, yeah, and exactly. if you can fix it there, bring it back here, and then we'll we'll consider. Yeah, it. The, and so go ahead. The crazy part is the fact that they get mad because they're expecting him to use words that they'll all be in agreement with. Right. And you're never going to find those words. They're, they don't exist because their whole goal is not to agree with you. Yeah, yeah mad, so, mad equals votes. I mean, yeah. that's mad, angry. anger equals yeah. votes. That's how they read that. So. Yeah, and, and their whole idea is to chisel away at everything that you hold sacred or that you're going to react to. Yeah. That's really the case is, is what you're going to react to. And it's all built for new cycling. Yep. It's all built because... Put my face out there. They have nothing to talk about in the news anymore that's worth a shit. Right. There's a lot of stuff going on with Iran and... Uh, uh, we just Korea. shot down a drone, by the way. I heard that Russia. on the way in yeah. the door. Oh, really? So yeah, we shot down a drone, so uh, an Iranian a lot, drone. There's a lot going on that they don't want you to see in the news right. because you have an effective president that's going to deal with this shit. Right. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to tag everything he says is racist. They had um, uh, this idiot... 
Al Green or whatever his name is from Houston. Yeah, Houston. Oh, yeah. Al Green. He filed yeah. in per- impeachment. They got that got voted down this morning. I saw that. Um, Elijah Cummings is standing up there and he's barking about I know what racism is and what he said was <laughs> racist. Yet we have uh, that's kind of like Forrest Gump up there. I yeah. know what love is. Right, and it, but yet then we <laughs> have Miss Omar dumb. saying that the Holocaust was made makes her feel good. And yeah, ninety nine eleven was taken care of or taken per pursued by some something happened that day yeah i mean you know very glib very anti-american inflammatory very anti-american anti-israel yeah, exactly she had some interesting thoughts on the uh, battle of mogadishu that where we just sure. showed up and murdered yeah. oh uh, thousands of somalis so, the I, reason why we showed up there was because adid was not letting food and humanitarian yeah, supplies he was starving people to starving death. people to death and clinton sent those guys in it, it, talk listen to any of the interviews from the guys read the book yeah and you'll see just how shitty the environment was over there for those people. Right. And what he was doing to them. Uh, yeah. And then, then you have... It's amazing that she comes yeah. out of that environment oh, and then does what she does. I that want really... more people to get... I want them to wake up every morning yeah. and go, last night I prayed for the squad. Let's mm-hmm. just say, we'll just call it the squad. Yeah. That I was hoping either the squad or one of the squad, I would wake up to the news of them passing or dying in a fiery fiery <laughs> right. explosion or something right. last night i guess i'll have to pray for it again tonight yeah. you know, sure yeah no it'll doubt. bring you More closer people. to the lord it'll yeah. bring you closer to the lord you know <laughs> i am not afraid hate to your way to the lord like that no me but, neither every time i see her i hear the sun moving on up anyway because yeah. we were talking <laughs> we, <laughs> we, were, we were and here i'll explain that before everybody loses their shit over that so um we were talking a few weeks ago about killing your former self yeah right? and becoming a new entity. And so when you have somebody that grew up like she did, it's very questionable how she entered. Yeah. Did she marry her brother for tax purposes? Does she owe, you know, there's a yeah. tax issue going on right now. There's even a question of her legitimacy of status as a citizen right. yeah. in this country. So you have that going on. So she's going to kill all of that off. Okay. Now, in order to do that, she doesn't do it on her own. Yeah. Yeah. She owes somebody for this. These people are all manipulated by lobbyists and handlers. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, sure. They've got, in fact, they've got a crew that runs them. There's got to be. Every one of them. Yeah. So she's beholding to the doctrine that she's told to be beholding to. Right. And so when you look at that, you know, you have to tell yourself, okay, I get what she's doing. Let's find out who's pulling her strings. That's what you, and that's what you need to get yeah, to, and, and that's that's what you need to start. Yeah, defeating. because her whole her whole diatribe is based upon. Um, uh, she says equality and, and and stuff, but she's really an Islamic change agent. Yeah, she's all about care and the Islamic Brotherhood. Um, they have been linked proven many times to be linked with fundraising for yeah. Hamas and other terrorist organizations. But she walks around with, as being the only one who understands yes. what the definition of mm. you know acceptance and yes. you know yeah. whatever it is she's whatever yeah. the the agenda is yeah. only she knows what that definition is right. and everybody else is interpreting as fucking bullshit. Yeah. And so every time I see an article that comes up about dogs and ownership and all that's all a distraction. It is. It's just a sideshow. It's it's like when you're walking through the the, the midway of a fair and there's tents and ferris wheels and the freak shows over here and all this <laughs> other stuff all this shit that you have to encounter as you're walking through the midway of life you got idiots like this right. which i just ignore i just look at it sometimes because i can't help but look at the carnage every once it's the train wreck you've yeah. got to see the train wreck yeah i mean yeah and then, sorry you're gonna look you're human yeah every time i see her that's what i think of and I, i'm actually waiting for her to be linked with some terrorist organization yeah I'm or she's funding them or sending yeah. money to them or, yeah she's going to slip I, up and she's going to get caught one day i know that there's a talk now of there's been nine or eleven people within a group that she helped support and get into the country that were linked to terrorists they right. were isis i, I want to say that they wanted to join isis and she stood behind them at some point yeah i haven't flushed this story out completely it's been on the tail end of stuff yeah. that i've caught but i know for a fact that they they've come out and said look she she had these nine I don't know if they were Americans beforehand or they became Americans, right. but they were tied to ISIS. They wanted to be ISIS fighters, and she mm-hmm. stood with them. And that's that's what that we're we're going to see that eventually. Hopefully, hopefully it's not too late. But yeah. you know, it's it's sad because you know going back to the whole the whole border thing and how they're treating that with the detention centers. Uh, and now we know that 
it's not just Mexican nationals coming through. Yeah. There's people from Asia, Africa, Asia, Africa, Asia, all these different right. parts of the world that are being brought through. And I thought the best Senate or best congressional hearing was when a dire- the former director of the <laughs> Department of Homeland Security had some special... Homan. Homan. Yeah. Talking some, with AOC. Is had that some the, special yeah. time with AOC. She wanted him to say yeah. so badly yeah. that, that he was separating families. That was, she yeah. couldn't, couldn't, it was like a pit bull. Well, the history behind that is Clinton signed that bill in 96. Yeah, he did. So, Ilian Gonzalez. That, that's all I got to say about actually, that. Actually, while you were downstairs, Todd and I were talking. Mm-hmm. And so, this, this piece about uh, at the tail end of the Ice Bay uh-huh. bullshit, the, you know, with, <laughs> thing that we didn't say was you've got politicians besides doing stupid shit is they're advising uh, border cro- yeah. potential border crosses sure what to say how they're walking where, people across yeah. that idiot from San Antonio yeah <clears throat> walks the people across um, yeah it's aiding and abetting that's 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 his felony right they they basically they basically coach these people on what to say mm-hmm. when they're confronted by ICE they come in and tell them this is what you claim you want to claim asylum mm-hmm. you want to claim they basically give them a list of rights which really they don't have rights to no, they because, don't, yeah. because you're not an American citizen so I don't know how you're entitled to American rights at that point now, but I, remember, I got got back on track so when we're talking about separating families from mm-hmm. kids yeah is if you boil it down to its basic element, mm-hmm. the politician that told the border crosser how to get across mm-hmm. is the re- reason. They're, they're the reason why they, the the border crossers get separated from the kids. Right. If you'd have kept your fucking mouth shut, you might still be with your kid. <clears throat> maybe you'll be on this side of the border. Maybe you won't. Right. But you'll still have your kid because that's the issue that everybody keeps bringing up right. as you're separating families. That was stay, interesting. Stay before you How get many there. of them really are not their kids, though, yeah. too? They've had a lot of that issue, too. That's irrelevant. Yeah. Well, and that was an interesting point that Homan made when, when he was debating with AOC. He's like, right. look, if I'm pulled over for drunk driving yeah. and I have my kid in the car, we're going to be separated. But do you politi- not understand? But the politicians and, are telling them how yeah, to do it. No, and I agree. I agree with my, what you're yeah. saying. And that's, you know, it's it's interesting that... Yeah, CPS comes and gets your kids. Exactly. Yeah. But it's interesting that they're looking at the American citizen and saying, that's okay for you, American citizen. Yeah. But the people that basically what they're seeing them as is voters. I mean, they're seeing this as their new voter mm-hmm. base. We, mm-hmm. we know that. Right. Which is self-serving. It is. So we're paying. You're basically by supporting them, you're you're ensuring that they're going to take foreign interest outside of your own interest and serve that as opposed to what they would give you. But they also tell the immigrants, hey, that thing that's going down at Area 51 in, in uh, September, <laughs> don't go to that. Yeah, don't. Don't go that's, to that. That's for specials. <laughs> that's funny. That That's nuts. <laughs> 